Anu and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you decided to join me today for yet but another tutorial. We are on a roll this month. We are this fall. We're very creative. I hope you are too. I hope I am inspiring you. This is my goal. So today I am going to create a hat and mittens. I thought I would upload it uh, today. I am actually traveling but I pre-filmed so you would be able to create them and then gift them for the holidays to your loved one. Put it under the tree put it under the menorah whatever you're celebrating or just because just because you feel like creating them for yourselves or you feel like gifting it to somebody else it is getting cold here so I definitely need a hat and mittens they are very welcome in my life right now here is a, the beautiful hat it's kind of a slouchy hat I really like it and the leaf pattern makes it so 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 intricate and so simple understated but yet really different and the mittens too too much they are adorable i love the color i love the texture of that that is my favorite yarn i have crocheted in a long time really and super affordable again lion brand did it and they're kicking bum bums they're kicking bum bums this year i use the same uh, kind of leave design that I had used in a dress that I created a few weeks ago here is the link to that dress and a picture if you are interested so it's um, what stitches did I use I use chain double crochet a little bit of puff stitch and um, increasing that's about it it's really really not oh no and front post double crochet and back post double crochet nothing new if you have been following me uh, for a while but if you are new no worries I will take you through it slowly but surely I think the skill for today is intermediate light um, but you know try it try it you might surprise yourself I just read an article about the uh, one of you you will recognize yourself send me an email about the benefits of crochet and um, well, of course it helps with anxiety it helps with insomnia it helps with your health in general crochet is really amazing I know that I have a hard time sleeping at night and the repetitive motion of the crochet just puts me calms me down and helps me ease into sleep a little easier a little better but yeah just uh, just saying so come and join the crochet family if you are not part of my crochet family what are you waiting for totally free click on the subscribe button and also click on the little bell so you can be notified every time i post something new don't hesitate to come and follow me on my social media right now on instagram during the months of november and december i will have giveaways pretty often so i'm just saying it's worth coming and check me out and subscribing and kind of I don't think you call it subscribing follow me follow me on Instagram <laughs> um, I'm trying to be cool but feeling miserably anyway as usual I am talking too much here is the winner for last week giveaway last week giveaway what was it Mm. last week giveaway was the festive Christmas crochet one of you uh, was able to win all the material to create it here it is congratulations here is the name of the winner and for today as usual one of you will be able to use all the materials to create the crochet and the hat and uh, for that you just need to be subscribed to my channel and comment down below in the comment box I will try also to put substitution yarns for you if you cannot find the lion brand jeans yarn that I am using for this tutorial and yes I think that is it yes so voila um, I think that's it if you are interested in creating this beautiful hat and mittens then keep on watching I will see you next time I hope everything is well in the meantime bye Mwah. For this tutorial, you will need one skein of yarn from the brand Lion Brand in jeans. The color is Top Stitch. One crochet hook 4 mm, one crochet hook 3.75 mm, and then one crochet hook 3.25 mm, some scissors, and a tapestry needle. Take your crochet hook and your yarn and you are going to make a magic circle. We are going to be crocheting in the round for this beautiful flowing leaf slouchy hat. Alright, so you're going to chain one. And then inside this magic circle, you're going to make six single crochets inside the circle. Thank you. 
and then you are going to pull on the end yarn to close your magic circle and you are going to slip stitch with the first single crochet you had made. Here we go. Now we are ready to make our puff stitches. We are at our second round. Chain one and in the first single crochet you're going to make your puff stitch. Let me show you how to, it's not hard. Yarn over and you are going to go through the single crochet and yarn over and back. You have three loops on your crochet hook. Repeat, yarn over through that same stitch. Oops, through the stitch, I know. <laughs> yarn over and back, and you will have five loops on your hook. Give it a little tug so it's not too tight on your hook. Yarn over and again through that same stitch, and yarn over and back. And every time I do yarn over and back, preferably taking the whole stitch and not just one part, I know. Here we go again. So through the stitch, yarn over and back. And whenever I do yarn over and back, I pull a little bit so it's not too tight on my hook. Now you have seven loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and through all the loops on your crochet hook. And to seal that little puff stitch, you're going to make a chain. Here you go, you just created a puff stitch. Now we need another one. Exactly in that same single crochet chain. Yarn over through the stitch. Yarn over and back, give it a little pull. You have three loops on your crochet hook. And again, yarn over through that same stitch. Yarn over and back. You have five loops on your crochet hook. Give it a pull, yarn over through that same stitch. Yarn over and back, and now you will have seven loops on your hook, hopefully not too tight. And then yarn over through all the loops on your hook and seal it with a chain. So you have two puff stitches in that one single crochet. And that is what you're going to do all around your second round. At the end of your second round, you should have 12 puff stitches. So two puff stitches in each of the single crochet and I will meet you at the end of your second round. At the end of your second round, you have 12 little puff stitches in total, grouped by two, so six groups of two puff stitch. All right, to finish your second round, you're going to slip stitch on top of the first puff stitch you had made. And let's tackle the third round. For the third round, you are going to make a puff stitch in the middle of the two puff stitches you had made at round two. In that chain, in between those two puff stitches, you're going to make a puff stitch. Chain one, of course, at the end of your puff stitch and make another one in that same space. This round three will be a round of increase. So in between the next group of two puff stitches, you're going to make two puff stitches. So
and then in, again in between the two next puff stitches you're going to make two puff stitch and then in between the groups you're going to make two puff stitches at the end of your third round you should have 12 groups of two puff stitches so 24 puff stitches in total Here you go, this is what your work will look like at the end of your third round. So pretty! We're creating the top of your hat, so that will be right on top of your head. So you have 24 puff stitches in total, and to end that third round, you're going to slip stitch again with the first puff stitch you had made. Okay, so for round four, what you're going to do is just make a group of two puff stitches in the space between two puffs. So you make those two puff stitches in between the two puff stitches from the previous round. You chain one to seal it. Of course. You don't make a puff stitch in between the two groups. You go to the next two group of puff stitch. And you make two puff stitches in that space. If we say that two puff stitches are a flower, this round will be two puff stitches in between those flowers, in between those two puff stitches from the previous round. Not in between the two group, just in that space between each two flower. So at the end of this round, you will still have the same amount of puff stitches. There was no increase. We have 24 puff stitches in total. We have 12 groups of two flowers. slip stitch at the end of your fourth round and now we will make the fifth one for the fifth round we're going to incorporate a double crochet in between our little groups of two flowers so to begin that round you're going to begin regularly making those two little puff stitches in the middle of the two puff stitches from the previous round but then in the space between the two groups of two puff stitches right there, you're going to make a double crochet. And you are going to repeat that all around your fifth round. So here you go in the middle of the flower, make two puff stitches. So you create a flower in the middle of the flower from the previous round, basically. It's not really a flower, it's leaves. And then in between the two little leaves, the group of two little leaves, next group in that space, you're going to make a double crochet. And you're going to repeat this all around this fifth round. We will still have 24 little puff stitches, 12 groups of two little leaves but they will be separated by a double crochet i will meet you at the end of your fifth round here you go and at the end of your fifth round like at the end of every round you're going to slip stitch at the top of the first puff stitch you had made and now for the sixth round make your two puff stitches in between the two puff stitches from the previous round regularly And then you're going to make two double crochets inside the double crochet from uh, the, on top of the double crochet from the previous round. And that is what you're going to repeat all around your sixth round. So making your two puff stitches and then increasing by one double crochet. So instead of 
one double crochet in between your puffs you're going to have now two double crochets and I will meet you at the end of your sixth round oh so pretty I love the way it looks love the way it looks all right, round seven will be yet but another round of increase. So you're going to make your two puff stitches as usual. And we're going to add one double crochet in between your puff stitches. So you had two double crochets and now you want to have three. So make a double crochet on top of the double crochet from the previous round. And then in between the two double crochets, make an extra one in that space in between and then another one on top of the third double crochet. And ta-da, you have three double crochets. Repeat this all around and I will meet you at the end of your round. Here we are at the end of your seventh round. Slip stitch to the top of the first puff stitch and let's tackle the eighth round. Begin as usual by making two puff stitches in the middle of the two puff stitches from the previous round. And then make a double crochet on top of each of the three double crochets you had made and that is what you're going to do all around this eighth round and repeat for the ninth the 10 the 11 the 12 your two little leaves and then three double crochet two leaves until you reach uh, the size of the hat that covers your head till your forehead so i had 20 rounds in total but of course try your hat on and see what you like since it's a slouchy hat give it some space to hang a little to the in the back of your head and now we are going to create the border And for that, we're going to take a smaller crochet hook to make the ribbed edge a little tighter. So take off your four millimeter hook and replace it by a 375 millimeter hook. All right, now you're going to chain three and that will count as your first double crochet. And now we're going to make double crochets. You're going to make a double crochet on top of each of your little leaf or little puff stitch. The first chain three will count as your first double crochet on top of the first leaf. Make one on the second one and then make a double crochet on top of each of the three double crochets from the previous round. And then a double crochet on top of each of the puff stitches. So one here on top of one leaf and then one on top of the next leaf. And then again, pick up three double crochet, one on top of each of the three double crochets you had made. And you're going to do that all around. And I will meet you at the end of your round. At the end of your round, you're going to slip stitch at the top of the first chain three you had made. All right, the second round of your brim will be made with front post double crochets and back post double crochet. Your first chain three will count as your front post double crochet, but to make it look like a front post double crochet, you're going to have to bring your stitch to the front and I'll show you how to do it. 
You are going to go around the double crochet from the previous round, around the post itself, and you're going to pass your crochet hook behind the post and push it to the front, and then yarn over and back through the post and through the loop on your crochet hook, the first one, right there. And just like that, you brought your stitch to the front of your work. Now you're going to chain three and that will count as your first front post double crochet. What is left for me to do next is to show you how to make a front post double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and then you're going to pass your crochet hook around the next post from the front to the back, yarn over and back. And you're going to have three loops on your hook, yarn over through two loops, two loops on your hook and yarn over through those two loops and you are done. This is how you make a front post double crochet. And now let's make back post double crochets because this round is made out of two front post double crochet, two back post double crochet, repeat all around. Your first chain three counted as your first front post double crochet. You made another one and now let's make two back post double crochet. You are going to yarn over, instead of coming from the front, you're going to come from the back around your post and push it to the back of your work. And then yarn over back through the post, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over through two loops, you have two loops on your hook, and yarn over through two loops. So let's do this again. You're bringing your double crochet to the back, yarn over from the back to the front, wrapping around the post, bringing it to the back, yarn over back through the post, three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops and yarn over through two loops again. And just like that, you made two back post double crochet. And as I always say, front post double crochet are the extroverts. They want to be at the front of everything in your face. And the back post double crochet are the shy one. They want to be left alone and they want to be very discreet in the back of your work. So for this round, you're going to continue by making two front post double crochet, two back post double crochet until the end of your round. And when you are done with this round, we are going to go to yet another crochet hook, the smallest, 3.25 millimeters. And we're going to continue just making rounds and rounds of two front post double crochet, two back post double crochet. So at the third round of your ribbed edging, you're going to bring the stitch to the front, exactly the same way we had done at your second round. That will count as your first chain three and it will count as your first front post double crochet. Make a second front post double crochet and then two back post double crochet around the two back post double crochets from the previous um, round. And you're going to continue like that, round and rounds. For my edging, I had one, let me see, one, two, three, four, five rounds of this pattern. And then at the end of my fifth round, when I was satisfied with the look of my hat, I just fastened off and I sewed all the loose tails at the back of my work and ta-da, voila, my hat was done. That is it, my friends. We just created this beautiful flowing leaf hat, slouchy hat, and I absolutely love it. I think it's super, super cute. What do you think? I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I am looking forward to many, many more. Come back next week to know how to create the mittens to match this adorable little hat. In the meantime, happy crochet and see you soon. Bye. <laughs> I'm all over the place today, absolutely all over the place. I think we're going to begin this again, all right? And front post are broke. Ah, itchy, itchy. <laughs> and for today, of course, one of you will be able. <coughs> um, it's kind of a slouchy, it's, a, it's a, between a slouchy hat and slouchy.